to the drawing board. This will delay implementation. And, it, and that is potentially the plan. The attorney general tells health leaders to do a better job with rules for medical marijuana. He cited specifically the marijuana leaf rules, the dispensary rules, rules regarding the limitation of locations. And now there are new calls for the governor to step in. My reaction to it is two words, special session. And tonight we know there will be an emergency meeting to take another look at those rules. News 4's Li Li Zhang is live with the latest on this. Li Li. Kevin, the board says that that meeting will happen as soon as possible. Now, according to the governor's office, there has been no change in her decision to not call a special session. But we do know as of this afternoon, at least one lawsuit over these rules is moving forward. Attorney Rachel Bussett says there's no plans of dropping a lawsuit her firm has filed against the Oklahoma State Department of Health over medical marijuana rules. She says an opinion released by Attorney General Mike Hunter Wednesday proves they have a strong case. Attorney General Hunter also outlines that the statute specifically sets the requirements for licensing and that the Department of Health does not have the regulatory authority to exceed beyond what is in state question 788. In this letter sent to interim health commissioner Tom Bates, Attorney General Hunter has advised the state health board to amend their rules on medical marijuana approved last week. He cited concerns over restricting dispensaries to limited locations and prohibiting the sale of smokable, edible and other forms of the product. You cannot have five unelected bureaucrats overturn the will of 507,000 people in a very public way and not anticipate that there is not going to be hell to pay. Amid Hunter's announcement, Jed Green with New Health Solutions Oklahoma, which funded the campaign to pass state question 788, has renewed calls for a special session. Everything else that we're doing, be it lawsuits being filed by the public because of chicanery on the part of the Board of Health, the time that the AG has to spend defending this stuff, this is all wasting taxpayer dollars. In a statement from Health Board President Tim Starkey, we're told in part, quote, I have asked Commissioner Bates and his staff to make sure the appropriate modifications are made as outlined by the Attorney General in today's correspondence. The Board of Health will call a special meeting to consider these changes as soon as possible. And the governor has released a statement just within the past hour saying that because the public did not have enough time to weigh in on those amendments that the Board of Health should rescind them. And we do have her full statement on our website. And as for that lawsuit in our report, the health department does not have a comment. Live in Oklahoma City, Lily Zhang, Oklahoma's News 4.